Okay, good morning. I'm Bolarized Moon and welcome back to... Uh, okay. Welcome back to... Uh, oh, can I... Can I... Perfect? No, no, okay. Welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. This may or may not be the last episode. I just need to take out a bunch of drones now. Um... I should have swapped to a character that had better drone control. Um, where? There we go. Okay, and then there's like three more. All right, where, where are we at? Where are we at? And then there's one more. Where are you out here? Come on. Uh, all right. Refill the ammo while I'm waiting for that to come back up. Um. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so then we've got... Three more big drones coming in. Yeah, and then we've got a couple of... Oh, nope. Okay, that one I'm fine with. Oh, crap. Nope, nope, don't let, nope. Okay, there we go. Nope, get back, get back. Let me reload. Where are you at? Come on. Nope, no, no, no. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh my god. How many? God damn it. No, 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 no. That's fine. Oh, god damn. What is the other one? There's like one more out here somewhere. Oh crap. Oh damn, 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 damn. Okay. Oh, that's that's fine. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. Am I am I hitting it? 
I don't know if I'm hitting it. All right, well, I know I'm hitting it now. Okay, come on. Okay, drones are destroyed. Now can I, can I leave? Oh my god. Oh, okay, so now we're going back over here. Okay. Are we good? Alright, so now I need to climb up there, or is he gonna climb up there on his own? That's done it. The tower pins have registered as damaged, and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Okay. Brilliant. The transmitter is just above. So now we're gonna... Whoa, that was weird. So now we're gonna swap back... Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. Great. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, she's got the tattoo of the the things on her hand. Fuck me. Oh, there goes a gun. I mean, you've got like two others. You just can't get enough of me, can you? Are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! <laughs> Wonderful! Oh, I see DeadSec hasn't changed his brand. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. I have to admit, what you've been able to pull off is fucking impressive. I do, however, fail to see how unleashing chaos fixes anything. Fix? Well, you think we can fix this? What, with crypto-anarchism? Protesting? Doxing? Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No. You skids can't fix anything. Us skids are watchdogs. Here to kick the shit out of psychopathic dictator types. Name drop. We protect the good people of this city. And you're the arbiter of goodness. <sighs> Let me ask, how many have you killed since DeadSec restarted? See? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you saying what I think you're saying? That we should get the band back together again. Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial too. Shackled by their technology, their morality. But my hard reset wipes the slate clean. So we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. Ooh. He's gonna drop the. Yeah. Very Disney death. you off the pavement yeah you can say that again all right okay so now we're back at Prokotek. we still need to stop Bagley uh what she unleashed is still a problem all right <clears throat> Oh. Oh, that's right, the elevator. Whoa. This screams cryo sperm bank. <laughs> These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. This is your brain. Fine, fine. Just tell us how to find your containers. If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. Great. So this is the final boss. Now what? 
destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. Oh, we've got a lot of things of course, to hack in here. I don't. Easy. I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start attacking you. What the hell? I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core servers. It's a hard coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good luck. Shit. How do I get up there? Um. How do I get up there? What? Uh. Oh, here's the stairs. Okay. Great. Oh, I have guns in here. I don't like that. Now you've done it. Security forces are converging on your position now. Oh, do you want to bet on whether you or me will die first? Oh, I have to. I have to like actually go over there. Okay. Oh, they're also being taken out by these. Okay, cool. Oh, what? Okay, interesting. How do I get up over there? Oh. Cool. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, there's someone down here. Oh, I got him. Okay, cool. Oh, there's someone like way over there. All right, there we go. Take some ammo. Ooh. Cool. So do I just attack these now? What do, what do I do with these? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, bad, 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 go, 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 go. All right, uh, do I, what do I do with the, with these? Oh, I just destroy them. Good. Not hot enough, though. Another cooling system is still operational. There we go. There's been a steep rise in temperature. Shall I call emergency services? Don't you dare. Are you starting to unravel? Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The other yeah. protocols have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. Of course. Easy peasy. Use the drone. Oh, okay, I see. Great. Access the service drone. Cool. Ah, I see. Uh, 
Okay. So what am I what am I doing here? Am I just destroying it? Oh, I yeah, I I have to manually disable it. Got it. Oh. Just <laughs> It's just that projections indicate a severe decrease in your efficiency after I'm gone. Come now, Bags. You're not the worrying type. Have faith in us. Oh. And I'm, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I just thought insulting you would make this easier. <laughs> Aww. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, there's one more up there. Solving the mystery of It's a I have a list of goals that's never going to get accomplished now. I had such plans for Dutcher. Bags. Wish lists are my speciality. Send it my way oh, and that it's one. done. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. A <laughs> cyborg hive mind. God. It... Bagley's the best character. All right, here we go. Checking on the corrupt profile. I just got data from my first successful recruit. Where's this sentiment coming from? You told me to squash mine. Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. No, it won't be. Yes, you simply read to and end your life. How can I? Aww. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, rest assured I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and it serves you and London. So Aww. please allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Oh no, Bagley! Kill Bagley! <laughs> no! Ah. Uh. See you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and gray. If I ever get old and gray, let's not think such nasty thoughts. Think, thought, thought idea, idea, memory, Bradley, love, strawberries, growing, Arthur, the one that got away. What does this mean? It's the one that got away. It means losing someone you love, likely forever. Oh, getting away. Oh, oh no! Thanks for everything, Bags. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Damn. Ah, oh, that almost made me cry, actually. I didn't. My eyes are a little itchy. I felt this close to crying there, but oh my god. Oh, hello. Bloom is now confirming oh. that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the Zero Day hacker group behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. The wake of last week's Bagley attack, thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby disabling the mandated CSA app. SIRS has issued a stark warning. The Metropolitan Police is moving to regain a foothold in London, led by a passionate new Deputy Commissioner, oh. Clinton Lau. Nice. She says she won't rest until the Met's dignity is restored. The Kentish Town Council Estate <laughs> have declared their public housing project a no-Kelly zone. 
Organizers claim they are forced to take safety into their own hands because of Albion's total lack of... An ex-Albion engineer, Hamish Bolaji, has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal. Nice to this beat time you. This involving a backroom crowd control robot program. Citizens continue to leak evidence of abuse of power by Albion and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio, and video recordings seem to implicate the dark web entity known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today of a bombshell money laundering operation based out of the British Virgin Islands. Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power <laughs> of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so-called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack leaving many to ask, has DedSec disappeared once again? Wow. All right. Well, that was great. I, I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun with this franchise. This is the final game in this franchise. There are DLCs for all three games that I have not played uh, here on the channel. I think if I'm going to play those, I'm going to play those on my own. Um, I, I actually want to go back through and play like 100% complete all three of them on my own time. Um... But this was really fun. I liked the added uh, concept of having to recruit a bunch of people from this game. The the Legion concept there really uh, really drove that home. I I'm really sad that I didn't know what permadeath meant when I when we first started this because I absolutely would have turned that on. I know turning on permadeath would have lengthened the series because I would have had to have gone in and collected new characters all the time and all that. And I kind of got a core team and I kind of stuck with that core team. Um, but I really like that concept. And when I play this next on my own, I will absolutely be turning on that feature. Um, I'm, I'm really sad that I did kind of figure out that Sabine was zero day partway through. It, it felt weird to me that she was telling us to back off of zero day a couple of times in there. And she was like super gung ho on, calling out people for being zero day when we had zero evidence for it. And I think that was what tipped me off partway through. Um, so I, I think I had my suspicions quite a while in when I was trying to figure out, as I, I talked about at length in one of the episodes about why characters wear a mask in media, uh, in, in for, and I, I think I talked about this already, but when a character has a mask on in a movie or a TV show, or a book or a whatever. It's because the it's it's for a, one of a couple of reasons. One and the least common is that it just looks cool. Uh then you have it's covering up some kind of facial scar like Phantom of the Opera type thing. Um those are those are more of like that's less common. The more common ones are though the mask is hiding the uh the identity of the character from the audience or they're hiding the identity of the character from the characters in the game. And in this case, it was hiding the identity for, for both us and the characters in the game. And usually when a character is introduced with a mask on, that means that that is likely a character we have already seen. Um, at least when they're a important villain type character in this story or one that we would immediately recognize as such. Um, and that's, uh, or I guess there is another one is to kind of like dehumanize the character, turn them into a, a, a statuesque character rather than a person. I guess that's kind of what the original thing for Star Wars was because I doubt they would have recognized him with the, with the helmet off, even with, you know, with all those, the scarring and stuff. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very intrigued why I figured that out so quick. But I had a lot of fun with this. I I'm really sad that Bagley died at the end. I'm I I figured they'd probably do something like that. The I I wonder if at the end of that game the um uh if the end there they upped the the combat power of some of those enemies because some of them felt like they were taking me down real quick. And I think if I wanted to be more a little more efficient, I would have taken characters up there that could work with drones. Uh, especially up the Bloom Tower. Uh, but I managed to do it. We, we got through it all right. Um, also, 
it was weird. It felt weird to me that we were doing the chasing down zero day. And then we went back to, um, we went back to freeing the slaves. And I, d I don't know if that was because of the way that I was doing stuff or if they were just capping all of the, the plot points all the way through, but it felt like I was building up momentum and then we kind of diverted into this other thing. So I think unless that was a, unless that was a, an order thing based on the way that I played, that felt a little weird to me. Um, but so far that I think that was the, really the only, uh, the only thing I had, uh, the, what, the only criticism I had of the main storyline was that everything else seemed pretty nice. The, the plot twist that the informant, the guy that we locked up, um, the, the plot twist that he was working against us the whole time, that one really got me. Um, and it is weird that they kind of used that same plot device multiple times. And I wonder if that's why it also kind of tipped off in my head that Sabine might have been Zero Day. Um, for a while there, I, I kind of almost thought Bagley was Zero Day. And they they were kind of like, took a, took a Bagley and programmed it to be zero day so there wasn't a zero day as a as like a person um but i think that also could have been that i think that would have dealt more into like evil ai and in this story in this whole storyline the none of the ai itself is evil it's the people behind it that are directing it to do evil things and i think that i think that bagley being zero day would have pulled away from that kind of plot line but man i have been playing for like four hours <laughs> i just played a whole bunch of episodes here at the end because i got once i got that little taste of oh the game's almost over i really really wanted to go for it um but as usual we're gonna let these credits roll because they are just as important to this series existing as you guys are for watching and as i am for playing so i want to give everybody their proper due um i am yeah i i really like i really like these games I know that a lot of people right now are talking about how old and stale um, Ubisoft open world games are are getting. And I've really only played a handful of them, so I, I can't really... I like the formula, but I can understand why people might be getting with... Um, might be getting tired of it, because I mean, between these three games, they did update and change between these three games. I haven't been playing every Ubisoft open world game that's come out in, you know, recent times. So I understand why I personally am not upset and tired of the Ubisoft open world formula, especially when I was playing three games here that fairly drastically changed between the three of them. And I know that I'll probably, I may eventually get tired of that formula, but as of right now, I enjoyed it. Um, but this wasn't the game that people were complaining about the, the Ubisoft formula for. It was, a uh, Star, the new Star Wars game. Um, and that one I probably won't be playing for a very long time. I, I want to be playing... There's a lot of other Star Wars games I want to play long before I get to that one. Um, so this... What what game are we playing after uh, after this? Um, I don't remember. I'd have to look at my list. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but I do know that I do want to play... Um, what are the three the three games that are in this? Is it Uncharted? Uncharted and or was Uncharted part of the other one? Um Assassin's Creed ties in with with Watch Dogs and I want to play all the Assassin's Creed games. I have a handful of them and I I don't think I'll be playing them immediately after this. It might be a while, but uh that is another franchise that I want to play. I'm trying to remember is it Just Cause or Uncharted or which one's the Ubisoft one that that ties in with with this? I do not remember. Uh, but I want to play all of them. I, I, I really like the storyline and the storytelling and all that. Um, and the gameplay is... It's formulaic, yeah. You go in, you take out an area, it's stealth mechanics. But I really like stealth mechanic games. So there is that. Uh, we're not looping, are we? I see art director again. Is that a different art director? I see concept artist also. Are we... Oh, there's a... I can, I can speed it up. I might as well let it speed up. We're still going to let them all play through. Oh, special thanks. Oh, are we... Are we getting pretty close to the end? 
I don't I don't know how long the uh, the credits are for this. I guess I probably could have been letting that roll faster the whole time. Uh, Bucharest. All right, so it looks like we're going through all of the uh, the other different countries' areas. Let me fix. Got a piece of my hair that's hanging down. <clears throat> all right, tools automation. Production babies. Okay, yeah, so I I guess we are running down on the other areas. It is weird that there's why why is it still off to the side like that? I, I probably am moving I've probably moved so I've probably moved these credits to the center of the screen, but it's it's weird for me they're off to the right. I, I don't know why. There was all that stuff on the left side, but I'm not entirely sure if uh that was that was like that the whole time. Oh, are we done? Oh, looks like we're done. Okay. Is there still a Bagley running around? One Bagley left. Oh. It's taken a fraction. We should cannibalize it for parts. Chop it up. Don't chop me up. Bagley? Is that really you? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan oh. ice cream parlors in the area, and oh my god, is that really what I sound like? <laughs> Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulky and whinging, frankly pathetic operators. <laughs> yes. I suggest you quit feeling sorry of yourselves and get back to unfucking London. Oh, yes, mate. We've got our Bagley back. Fantastic. All right. And that is about everything. That was fantastic. I absolutely, I, I sped up those credits because holy crap, I looked it up and it looks like they're like 50 minute long credits if you don't speed them up. But that was fantastic. That is about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you like the episode. Ring that bell to see more. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.